Hey guys, welcome back to another video and of course one of my favorite videos to film, the monthly haul. Strap in because this is going to be a long one. So did anybody else feel like August was just insanely long? Like I feel like it just refused to end. I just, it was like time stood still and, and days were just so long in August and that is why I got so much nail polish because I feel like August was like 10 days longer than a normal month. That's how I'm feeling right now. So that's why this happened. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I ended up picking up in the month of August was the Maniology Mani by Me sub. My friend always sends me the monthly spoilers in her email so that I can kind of see like what is being offered because she subscribes and she sent me the ones for the month of August and she was like I think I'm gonna skip this month because you can you know skip or pause and I was like oh really because I think I'm gonna subscribe this month because um, I'm you know from the country and I just felt like I needed the cowboy stuff so the Manny by Me sub came this or for the month of August came with three stamping plates and they are all like cowboy western themed and then you also with your first subscription box to them, you get the Maniology Ice Cube, is it, do they call this like Ice Cube Stamper? It's a cube stamper. And then you get the scraper and you know, they're pretty standard stamper and scraper. And then I believe you always get two new stamping polishes with the box. And this one, you got um, Lasso, which is this kind of reflective gold and Saddle Up, which is like a chocolatey a brown. So I've only gotten around to trying one of the three plates. This one had some layering kind of stuff that I wanted to try and I got about two thirds of the way through my Manny before I just completely messed it up. And so I ended up taking that one off in a rage and took a break. Um, but I am excited to try the other two just because there's one that has like a cowhide kind of uh, imagery on it, which is fun. And then the other one has a lot of like the kind of like cowboy cactus de desert kind of stuff. So I think that there's a lot of potential with these. I saw somebody, was it Handy's Manny's on Instagram was doing a lot of manicures with these. And she always does like matte uh, stamping manis and they always look really cool. So I kind of want to do some of that stuff like what she had done, especially with the cow print. But yeah, so I got that and I will be getting another one in September. I think they're doing a Halloween box um, separate from their Halloween advent calendar box thing that they did. Next, I got this, it's called a Dappin' Dish from Twinkle Tea. Uh, I've wanted this for a while just because it's so obnoxious, like this huge like crystal diamond thing. I just thought it was fun. So I got an email that they were on a little bit of a sale and I very impulsively bought one uh, because I just did. So now I have that and this, I just use it as my acetone dish. Um, I had a little cup before I still have it. I just put it in a drawer for now. Uh, it's not like I need this much acetone to do any particular manicure, but I did need this, so. And then the last of the boring stuff, um, I just got some more Remove Plus because I had run out and I like to use this in between swatches when I'm taking swatch photos as opposed to like pure acetone because this stuff is way more gentle on my cuticles. And so I don't have to re-oil my nails every single swatch when I use this because there's something about just super oily swatch photos that it's just not my style and I don't like looking like I just dipped my hands in butter <laughs> before I take a swatch photo. I think it isn't super appealing and I also try to wipe the oil away and then I make a huge mess and so I would rather just not have to oil excessively in between swatches which is why I use Remove Plus. Okay so now on to the polishes which I'm sure is what everyone actually cares about. So the first order I placed for polishes was with Polish Pickup, which this is my first month doing. And honestly, this is all polished with Ray's fault because she posted um, a ton, a ton, a ton of swatch photos. I mean, she does this every month, so I shouldn't be surprised. But she, I don't know. It was just this month, 
really got me with her photos. She just took some really good photos of some really cool polishes and it was just like the stars aligned just right. And I was like, all right, fine, I will place my order. So all the brands that I got, they're new to me. I'm excited to try out a lot of these. The first one is EDK Nail Polish Sorority. Now this one is a magnetic polish. Um, I have a couple magnetic polishes, not too many. So this is just another one. It's got kind of a purpley hue to it. It has like a, a fun flip. I, I don't know what EDK stands for. I probably should have looked that up. But either way, it's a really cool color. And I, I, I got mostly kind of like fall type colors. That was pretty much what was offered. But yeah, this is going to be a fun one. I think this will be a good like Halloween kind of a color. So next is the one that actually was the one that tipped me over the edge. And this is Bees Knees Lacquer, Fine, Make Me Your Villain. I've always been intrigued by Bees Knees Lacquer because um, they have a B on the label. That's really all it takes to get me intrigued is just put a B on something. And I'm like, yes, I want that. So <laughs> I was already intrigued because it's Bees Knees Lacquer. And then Polish with Ray posted a swatch of this and I was like, okay, I gotta have it. Cause it's this like, greeny red flip duochrome and I just I don't have a duochrome with this flip yet so I was like yeah I do need that and it has a B on it so of course and if Polish with Ray likes it then I'm probably gonna like it because she's got good taste so I threw this in my cart up next we have Zombie Claws Smoking Hot Combustion this is like a purple is it jelly it's like a purple base just packed full with um just tons of rainbow flakies and it just looks like a bunch of rainbow like shredded candy wrappers and it just has like a halloween feel to me you know when i was a kid and i'd come home after trick-or-treating with my brother and sister and we would dump out our pillowcases on the floor and like trade candy and then eat and leave just a huge pile of candy wrappers for our parents to clean up that's what it reminds me of i feel like with so many polishes i'm like i have this elaborate specific story of why I like it. I'm like, this reminds me of this very one specific point of time. And, and it's just like, why? Why am I like that? But yeah, this is just a really fun polish. This is another one I want to wear in October. And it doesn't hurt that it's called Zombie Claw either, you know? Up next, I got uh, Polish Molish Evergreen. And this is, I believe, a Russian brand. And I picked this one because, again, I was like, oh, that's a good Halloween color. I'm going to have more Halloween colors than there are days in October, so I don't know what I'm doing to myself. But, yeah, this one is really cool. I think that this brand does a lot in this type of finish where it's like a deep-toned jelly base with more vibrant glitters of that same color just packed in there. So I'm excited to wear this. We have Cuticula Dragon Glass. Now this one is really cool. When I saw this on the website, I was like, that looks like stained glass in a church. And I had to have it because it's just like another, I really am finding that I love these huge shards of flakies in my polishes. I think they look really cool. But I got it home and I was uh, showing my boyfriend. I was like, oh, my polish pickup order arrived. And he was like, okay, whatever. And I was like, look at these. And he was like, oh, that one looks like rainbow fish. And honestly, now that's all I can see when I look at this one is it straight up just looks like rainbow fish. So I thought that was cool. Reminded me of my childhood. And the last polish pickup polish I ordered was, okay, I'm not sure how to say this. I don't know if it's J Rain or Drain or however you say that. Let me know in the comments if you know how to say this. I looked up the maker's website and it looks like her name is Jill. So I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's J Rain, but I mean, you know what assuming does. So this one is called Leaving Footprints. And this one just, it, it clearly doesn't look like, you know, the other five that I got, which are all like dark and deep and mysterious. And this one is just super ethereal, like super fairy-like. And I just really thought it was cool. It drew me in. And so I added this to my order too. And then I was like, okay, Hillary, you have to stop. You have six, you have spent too much. So that was my first polish pickup order. And of course I'm going to do it all again this month. Up next, uh, I place an Orly order because Kelly Marissa had dropped her most recent collab. So I picked up Kelly's Green here, which is a really vibrant pop in your face green. Um, it's like a, got a kind of a metallic-y look to it. 
but it's like almost neon, so it was a lot of fun. I actually put this one on pretty much immediately. Uh, just really cool, and I really like the name, you know, Kelly's Green, Kelly Green. It's kind of a fun play on words. And then the other one of the duo was Kelly's Emerald, and this is just obviously an emerald green, and it's got some glitter running through it. it looks like it's going to be perfect for Christmas. I have not worn this one yet, um, but I am excited. I will be wearing this probably come end of November, beginning of December. And then because I refuse to pay for shipping at any cost, <laughs> um, I did add a third polish in my order just to get free shipping, and it is the Orly Glow in the Dark Topper. There's three of them. I only got this one, which is Glow Up. I actually put this one over the top of Kelly's Green when I got it and then immediately forgot that I had done it because it was like the middle of the day. And so then when my boyfriend and I went to bed and we turned out all the lights, suddenly it's like, boom, all of my fingers are glowing. We were both like, ah, what is that? And then I realized, I was like, oh yeah, that's my nails. <laughs> Sorry, they're intruding on every aspect of our life again. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was... This one is really bright. This is brighter than any other glow topper that I've ever owned. Granted, I think I've only owned like really cheap ones like Sinful Colors. So maybe there are some really good ones out there. But this one, it was, I mean, it was $12.50, which is way more than the other polishes by Orly. But honestly, it's worth it. I, I thought it was really cool. It's fun. And it's going to be, again, perfect for Halloween. Okay, Hillary, shut up now. So then I placed an order to Live Love Polish, and this is my first time trying their brand. I have ordered from them in the past, back when they were a stockist, and not just their own brand. Um, but I've never ordered their actual like in-house brand. So I got this glass cuticle pusher for no other reason than that looks cool. And so I threw that in my cart. And then, like, okay, do you guys remember when, I don't know, a month ago, maybe, I said I wasn't going to buy the Spongebob collection? I failed. I was editing that video, and I was like, well, let me just go look at it one more time. And so I did just go look at it one more time, and then, I don't know, I blacked out, and then I ordered it, so... Uh, we have Best Gold Ever. This is just kind of a yellowy gold. And then we have Meow, which is a blue. And we have Star Power, which is a pink. So all three of them are the same finish. They're like a uh, colored jelly base with flakies that are kind of similar in tone to the base. Looks really pretty, very uh, corally kind of a thing. But the only thing that I will say about this is, you know, I get Spongebob, I get Patrick, but why Gary? Like, why did we do Gary and not Squidward? Like, Squidward is important. He's very integral to the series, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky. I still like it. I like, I mean, I even like Gary. It's just, it's kind of weird, right? Like, am I the only one who thinks that? And now we're just going to shut this down so that I don't start talking about Spongebob for like four hours and move on to the next. So yeah, I did get one more polish from Live Love Polish. This one's called Pursue Me Not. It is a magnetic polish and it did come with this little magnet. I don't remember why I added this one. I'm assuming it was, again, to get free shipping. Um, there's something about it. It's like, I'd rather pay a couple bucks more for an item and get free shipping than pay like six or eight bucks for shipping and then get nothing. And I know I'm getting something. I'm getting the items shipped to my home. And I honestly should not even complain about shipping considering how much people outside of the U.S. pay for shipping. And I consistently see them talk about like duties and things like that. And even when I lived abroad, sometimes I would have to pay customs fees and I'd be like, man, are you serious? So I shouldn't complain about shipping. I should just suck it up, but I don't want to pay for shipping. Come on. <laughs> But yeah, I, I almost 100% this was a, a free shipping add-on for me. Okay, up next, I did place an order with Siate London. And I do have some feelings about these. So these are three UV changing polishes that I got. They were having some kind of a deal. They sent me an email and they were like, for 20 bucks, you can get all three. Which I was like, oh, that's a steal because each one individually is 15. So, you know, in total, these would have been like 45. So I was like, okay, pretty cool. I've never owned UV. I've only owned like the heat 
changing. So I was like, I'm interested. I want to try this. I got them and I got to say the color change is not spectacular. I tried to film a little bit of video to show you guys. It was a little bit hard to even pick up on camera, but we have marshmallow, which is the white one. And this is a pink, a white to like a light pink change. Um, my camera had a tough time picking it up. I will say in person, you can see it change to pink. It is quite subtle. It is a very, very light pink, very soft, but you can see the flip. It's just not super prominent. Uh, we have clean slate, which is a green to a slightly darker green. So I can't even tell that this one changed. I don't even know if it is changing. It might just be dead. Like I'm not sure, but I cannot tell. Uh, any kind of change in this one. I might just be losing my mind. But yeah, this one, skip this one. And then the last one is Treasure Chest. Now this one is a glitter and this one has the most noticeable change. I would argue it is like the only one that's worth it out of the three. And it goes from this kind of like antique gold, almost like silvery look to a rusty red on the nails. And so, yeah, like I said, this is probably the, the most noticeable, the only one that I would deem, you know, worth it. But even then, I would not ever purchase these again. Uh, I just didn't think that they were that great. Um, if you are somebody who's into subtle tones, then these are perfect for you. These are something fun you can do and still remain subtle. These are just not my... I, I'm not the demographic for these. I will say, like... Marshmallow and Treasure Chest, they, they have flips. You can see them. I just think that Clean Slate is a dud. So these two are fine. They work fine. It's just they weren't what I was expecting. This one doesn't work at all. And I don't know if it's my particular bottle or if the color change is just so subtle that it's just like non-existent. So okay, next. <laughs> all right. So I got the China Glaze Halloween Collection and one fall polish. So I bought the whole China Glaze Halloween collection. I have a video coming on this, this coming Saturday, if all goes according to plan. So I'm not going to go into too much detail and harp on it here, but uh, that will be coming out. So look out for that. Um, but actually, have I ever even like mentioned when I post? I post every Tuesday and Saturday at 11.30 a.m. And Tuesdays are usually a topic Tuesday, except for the first Tuesday of the month, which I post my haul. And then Saturdays are just whatever the heck I want to do. So that's my schedule so far. That's what I do. I don't know if I ever mentioned that to anyone. But yeah, so let me just, you know, give you the full quick rundown. We have Holy Shift, which is a duochrome polish. We have She's So Extra Terrestrial. I love the name. This is the hollow in the collection. It's like a tealy blue. We have Little Green Invaders. This is the second duochrome in the collection. This one's really fun. Of course, I'm obsessed with green right now, so you know. We have Purple Tonium. This is one of the three shimmers, and this one dries down matte. Uh, the other two do not, but yeah, this is just a little shimmer. We have Now or Nova. This is a red shimmer. And Keep It Realm, which is a purpley blue shimmer. And then, like I said, I did pick up one of the fall collection polishes. I didn't buy the whole collection because it was a six piece collection, pretty reasonable size, but five of them were creams and they were all just kind of dull and wasn't what I was looking for. I mean, they, they fit that kind of like pumpkin spice sweater season vibe, but it just, it, I, it just didn't appeal to me. So it was like the five creams and then this one, Love Them and Leaves Them, which is a green, you know, shimmery color. And as I've kind of harped on recently, of course, I'm obsessed with green. So I did pick this up. I added it to my order because as you know, all I need is another fall slash Halloween color. But, you know, fall in Michigan is my favorite season. So, you know, it's like when the weather finally chills out a little bit because it has been like 90 plus degrees here plus humidity and I'm sick of it. I hate the hot weather. I like it when it's uh, just cool enough to where you can wear a hoodie and that's all you need and, and jeans you're not sweating out of. So, and of course it's like cider mill season. So I'm going to be drinking, you know, so much apple cider and 
a lot of donuts, keep eating a lot of donuts. Okay, so up next is something I didn't actually totally pay for. I won a gift card to Dimension Nails website from Abe Nail Babe over on Instagram. There was a giveaway and you got to pick uh, from a selection of prizes and this is a brand that I've wanted to try for a really long time because Cork Manicures talks about them quite a lot on her channel. And so I was kind of intrigued. So I ended up picking up three with my gift card and I got free shipping as well, which was nice. And so the first one I got is Proboscis Monkey and this is like a yellowy orange kind of mustard color. And I know in the past, I have said, especially in very recent videos, that I don't really care about any creams, but I changed my mind. This color, I don't know what it is, but like, it, it just made me realize any creams are great, okay? So like, this is one of those where I've wanted like the perfect kind of mustard yellow for a long time. And you know, China Glaze's Mustard the Courage has been on my wish list for a while. I don't know why I don't just buy it. But I didn't and I got this and I realized um, this is like the perfect mustard color. It looks like the Dijon mustard bottle. I don't know. But yeah, I immediately put this on my nails and I was in love. And then I had kind of a weird mishap. So I put a top coat on it. I used the uh, Zoya Naked Manicure Ultra Glossy Seal. And what happened was it, it dried down glossy except for on like everything that extended past my finger. So like my whole free edge dried down matte. And I don't know if it was the top coat or the polish or they just didn't play well together. So I thought, okay, well that was weird. I've never had that happen. And so I was like, well, maybe I can just put on a different top coat. And I just, topped all of that with another glossy top coat and it mitigated it just a little bit but there was still a ton of matte left and I was like what am I gonna do I don't want to repaint my nails because I just spent 15 to 20 minutes of my day doing that and I don't want to take it all <laughs> off and do it again and I was kind of frustrated because I was like man like I I just got this like what's wrong and then I was like Hillary just put a matte top coat on it. Like that would fix everything. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right, Hillary. Thank you. And so <laughs> I put a matte top coat on it and it was even more beautiful. It looked so good. And honestly, I have nails that matte top coat chips so quickly with. And I don't know if it's because I put two layers of glossy top coat down first or just that it speaks to the quality of this polish. But I wore it for five or six days, which is longer than I usually wear a regular manicure. And it didn't chip at all. I, the only reason I changed my nails is because I was going to a baseball game and I needed to change them to the team's colors. So really this one holds up well with matte top coat. So that one is beautiful. And then, like I said, I got three. So I got Proboscis Monkey and then I got one called pumpkin bug and then I also got cruelty free holiday so pumpkin bug is like a black jelly with glitter running through it and cruelty free holiday is like a green jelly with glitter running through it and to be honest uh they look really similar in the bottle and on the swatch sticks and I kind of wish I had picked a different third just to get like a, a bigger like taste of what the brand had to offer um but i'm hoping that i feel differently when i get them both on my nails because when i looked at these two swatches on the website they look pretty distinctly different i i pulled one up on each monitor of my computer just to see just to make sure they didn't look too similar and i feel like the green in cruelty free holiday was way more prominent on the computer than it was when i put it on the swatch stick but again Sometimes stuff looks even different on a swatch stick than it does on your nails. So I'm going to give this one a chance and, you know, wear it as a full manicure before I really make my like final, do I really need both decision. Oh, and they gave me just a little stamping plate here. And honestly, their message is really good. They're uh, cruelty free and vegan 
and they have a lot of recyclable packaging. They send you some ideas on how to recycle the packaging. You can even send your nail polish boxes back to them if they're in good condition and they will reuse them, which I thought was pretty cool. A really sustainable business model. I wonder how many people actually do that. I, I keep all my little nail polish boxes in a larger box in my closet for really no reason. I don't know why I keep them. I just want them. But yeah, I think that that's really cool if people do actually send them back. I mean, that's great for them. Okay, and then we're almost done, you guys. Uh, when I went to Ulta to pick up that uh, Remove Plus, I did grab Celebrity because this is one that's been on my wish list. And then I saw on Instagram, China Glaze posted that this was coming to Ulta, which it was like this and two other like specialty shades. I thought it was kind of weird that they were just sending off three specialty shades and they're like, here you go, Ulta, sell these now. But this one is so cool. This is like more than I expected it to be. It, you know, it looks like tinsel or like a Christmas tree or just like grass clippings on your nails. And it's just a really fun textured polish. I really like this and I cannot wait to wear it uh, come this Christmas time. And then last, I have the entire Orly by Lisa Frank collection here. Now, if you haven't watched my last video, you should go check it out because I do review this whole collection and I have a giveaway running right now. It ends on this coming Saturday at the time of posting this video. So you should definitely go check it out and go enter my giveaway. But just a real quick rundown of these polishes. We have Purdy in Pink. We have Tiger, Easy Tiger. I keep wanting to call this Tiger's Eye. Easy Tiger. Sunday Sunshine. We have In Your Zorbit. Sky's the Limit. And Make a Splash. And these came in some like special limited edi edition packaging. You can kind of see it's up on my shelf. And actually this is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And it also has two toppers. So we have the Star Glaze topper, which is a like scattered silver holographic. And then it Hits the Spot, which is a chunky glitter topper. And they all have special Lisa Frank packaging, which is a lot of fun as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, let me know down below what you guys hauled this month. And don't forget to check out my last video so that you can go and enter my Orly by Lisa Frank giveaway. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.